Hey YouTubers and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're going to be going back into the One Tool Review. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and check out some of my previous One Tool Review videos in order to better understand what this series is about. If you guys follow along with the channel, you guys already know, and today is the seventh episode of The Screwdrivers. I promise we're almost done with screwdrivers and we'll get into the showdown and we'll see how they rank up against each other. But today's episode is interesting to say the least, but also pretty cool. This screwdriver that we're going over today is three times that of any of the other screwdrivers that we've went over so far. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. But also keep in mind that if you're interested in any of these tools, they're all going to be linked down in the description underneath the tools or tools continued link, as well as many other tools that I suggest. So I really hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Once again, leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts of the content, as well as the screwdriver that we're going over today. And uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Let's go ahead and take a look. So in the previous video, we went over the Philo wood handle screwdriver. If you guys haven't checked out that one tool review, go ahead and check it out. We've also done five others of these one tool reviews on the German made Vera, USA made Southwire, Japan made Vessel Wood Compo, Japan made Vessel Ball Grip, Interchangeable Bit, as well as the Vessel Make Dora. This is the second to last one, and so let's go ahead and get right into this. Why do I have this all the way over here? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. At the beginning of the video when I stated this screwdriver is three times that of all the others that we have went over so far, what I meant was I messed up and bought a screwdriver three times the length of all the other screwdrivers we've been over so far. So I was trying to stick with, you know, roughly number two Phillips four inch blade screwdrivers and somehow I messed that up. I accidentally saw the correct picture for the wrong product uh, so the image showed number two Phillips with a 100 millimeter blade but it was actually a 300 so what we have here is a 12 inch blade with the Philo two component handle but the good thing is in this kind of showdown length doesn't matter <laughs> So today, let's go ahead and get into the specs, features, and details, and pricing, and all that good information. So this, once again, is the Philo 2 component, or this, the Philo wood, uh, by Bondus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so just like the, the name states, it's two components for the handle. It is a rubber material here in all black, and the red portion is plastic. I believe the underlining material underneath this is the same as this hard plastic, so it is a nice solid handle. Where Philo does also offer a ergo handle design where it's the same shape as these two screwdrivers. You have the same design as far as shape, but the material it's made out of is like this soft, rubbery material. So like when you squeeze it, like you can actually deform it. Uh, it's supposed to allow you to have a lot of torque. To me, it just sounds awkward. I mean, it could be one of those screwdrivers that sounds really awkward, uh, but turns out to be great. Not really sure. These are the two I decided to go with from Philo. Um, if you guys have used the Ergo ones, please let me know your guys' thoughts on them. Getting back into this, just like the other Philo that we went over, this blade is also a chromoly vanadium, but on this one, you do have that brushed finish and then the black oxide tip so instead of being chrome here you do have a, a brushed finish there then getting into the handle you just have kind of this base it's not really a hex bolster or anything like that it's just part of the handle as far as I know there aren't really as far as this handle design any other features that you can get but Philo does have a lot of other options. So like I stated in the previous video on the wood handle design, I'm just gonna name off a few of the different ones that they have. They have insulated, they have the Ergo, they have Torx, they have m -Tech, they have nut drivers, 
than the two component like what we're looking at here and the wood handle. So they have a good lineup and in each one of those you have different variations of each. So I will have all of these linked down in the description underneath the tools and tools continued link if you guys are interested. Uh, but just keep in mind there are more variations of the ones that I have linked below. So if you're looking for something with maybe less features to try and save some money or if you're looking for the, the one with the most features, those may be available just depending on the handle design that you go with and the brand that you choose. So this two component handle does actually come in another design as well. I have basically the, the base form of it right now, but you can get it with a hex bolster in place of this and you can get it with a striking cap. So a couple different variations of the two component handle and then multiple different variations of the other ones we have went over. So a lot available. As far as pricing on this screwdriver, you're looking at about 10 to $25 each, depending on the style that you're picking up, whether that be this version or the bolster and striking cap version, and whether or not you're getting a four inch blade or a ridiculously long 12 inch blade. So like I say at the beginning of this uh, showdown, I try and use each one of these tools for a minimum of 10 days because, well for one, we're doing eight screwdrivers, so that's a total of 80 days just to give, I would like to use them longer, yes, but that's already 80 days that this showdown's gonna go on, if not more, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna release these every single week. I can't necessarily give each one, you know, two months because we just don't have time for that. So I try to give them each 10 days of use to just make it fair across the board and just see how they work. I specifically use them and them alone anytime I need a Phillips number two. Now, this one was a little bit difficult uh, just because of the, <laughs> the length of blade. When I'm removing trim panels or tail lights or anything like that, um, it is extremely awkward working from a foot away to remove a Phillips head. Normally I'll, I like to keep it, my favorite screwdriver is actually a stubby screwdriver. So the four inch one I can I can get away with. I still have good control over, but like <laughs> this is like for when like you gotta reach down in the most awkward position and, and get a screw or a fastener. So just using this on like removing a tail light on a truck, I'm like making sure nobody's like around me because I look like a complete fool using this big old long screwdriver to remove a simple screw that's out in the open. But overall, it's held up very well. It's got a black oxide tip, so no deformation or chipping or anything like that. And it's got very nice fitment and it is magnetic. So just a kind of close up look of the handle. I don't know if this is Frico or Frico, I have no idea how that is pronounced. Philo, made in Germany. Got the 502 Phillips head number two at 300 instead of 100, and that is it. Overall, the same shape as the other handle. It does have a flat on each side. So not only does this six-sided handle really prevent the screwdriver from rolling, but when it's on these flats, parts like it holds the screwdriver very well you don't have to worry about it rolling away or anything like that it's it's very well planted uh, now this one unlike the wood handle does have a pass-through so you can hang the screwdriver most screwdrivers when you see a pass-through they're strong enough to allow you to pass another screwdriver coming in hot from a foot away to pass through and use it to apply more torque to a fastener well with this one, it's all rubber here. Yes, there is a, a plastic under molding or a plastic base to it, but I'm not sure if this will pick it up or you, you guys will be able to see it, but maybe if I go on this side. I just feel like it really wallers that hole out. Uh, I feel like there's quite a bit of movement. And I, I would be afraid, not that that's really a feature that I personally use, maybe you do, but if you are one that uses uh, a hex bolster or that hole in order to gain more access on a fastener, I'm not sure that this handle design would be the best for that, just due to the fact that I'm not sure how strong that plastic is in there. Uh, and without being able to see it, I can just see the rubber 
on top moving so that would just be one thing that I would be wary of when using that feature if you are going to but the handle design is very comfortable uh, it is a little bit smaller handle design on this one but it, it feels really good in the hand it's like perfect and the other great thing is with this being all rubber here and they left this back cap plastic it is ridiculous how much speed and torque you can still get with this thing just due to the fact that this is a decent sized plastic cap over here I shouldn't say cap it's all part of the handle but the uncovered portion uh, is a pretty decent size so it fits perfect in the palm of the hand and you can really get some torque on that bad boy so I do like that handle design as far as how much grip you can get yet still get speed off of it with that back cap so overall I'm very pleased with it now yeah it would have been much better if I would have bought the proper size screwdriver but um yeah I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this thing no idea use it for intruders this is gonna be the most awkward test good thing you guys don't have to do it this is uh, just a little test block where I have a couple different wood screws wood screws button heads countersunk screws some of them are slightly rounded off to see how much we, uh, a screwdriver will slip but this is already awkward enough working from so far away so I'm just gonna get to it I can't even can't even get my full self in frame <laughs> it's so awkward so there it is it actually did really well for working a foot away that was extremely awkward yet the fitment on a screw is just fantastic there's no play I mean no wobble here I mean it's solid definitely very well designed and manufactured so definitely once again another high quality option but keep in mind make sure you pay attention depending on where you buy it from most likely you're gonna be buying one of these as a set because it's gonna save you money from buying them individually but I'm not buying eight screwdriver sets uh, so just make sure you pay attention to, to what you're buying uh, don't go by the pictures so like I stated earlier the individual pricing on these are 10 to 25 dollars each depending on which handle design you go with whether you're getting this one or the hex bolster and striking cap and then as far as sets in this design you're looking at forty dollars to eighty dollars so priced once again very well for a good quality German made screwdriver that it's got to go in frame like this so <laughs> it's just really awkward so even though this was a very awkward video for me to make I hope you guys enjoyed and got some sort of good information out of it if you guys did please make sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below of your guys thoughts on the video as well as the screwdriver itself or if you guys have used them or that ergo grip uh, and as always if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing see you guys next time